Well, welcome to the Lincoln Electric 2012 Advanced Motorsports Program. Hi, I'm Wyatt Swain. Some of you know me as Mr. Tig. And this afternoon, I'm going to be doing a demonstration on some aluminum welding. And it's not just aluminum welding. The uh, welding technicians that have been invited to this program are going to want to know how to weld super thin aluminum. And it's pretty difficult. So we've got some material here that's 6061 aluminum. Uh, before I get started, though, I'm going to make sure I have all the safety devices in place, including ventilation. So make sure you're in an area that has great ventilation. Make sure you have your uh, eye safety wear in place. And I have, a, I have my gloves on as well as my coat. The ultraviolets are not going to get into my neck area, and that happens quite frequently. So got everything in place, got the machine turned on, got a couple of features I want to introduce to you here. One is I'm, I'm welding a very thin aluminum, being 30 thousandths in wall thickness. So the rule of thumb is one amp per thousandth of thickness. I set my machine up at 45 amps. I don't need the full 45 amps, but I've got my foot control that allow me to go whatever direction I want to go. So I've got the full throw. Uh, the machine is set on a certain frequency. I've got 100 hertz on the frequency. So I don't need a real crisp arc, but I just need a fairly tight arc. Uh, as far as cleaning action, I don't need a lot of cleaning action on this. This is a pretty clean material. Uh, penetration's not going to be a problem because it's so thin. But I, I made my, adjust and my adjustment on the AC balance is 70% negative. So let's get started. It's a butt-to-butt -butt joint. I've already got it pre-tacked. I've got some cleaning. Again, it's going to be uh, real easy to penetrate this material. So let's take a look. Okay, I just made about an inch and a half weld here and I got out of position. I just wasn't sitting the way that I wanted to. The angle of my torch wasn't quite right. And because I have precision control of this machine and a foot control, I can actually pull the amperage out of the puddle very, very slowly and not have hot short cracking. Uh, if I want to resume this weld, I'll reposition myself, start the weld all over again, and go as far as I go until I get out of position again. Okay, because we're welding aluminum, it has a hot short cracking problem. So when you get to your weld termination, if you finish off a weld, I want you to hold your torch right over the weld, let the puddle resolidify, and let the argon post flow for about five to eight seconds. You can adjust that on your machine accordingly. If you would like more information, go to lincolnelectric.com. Mm -hmm.